and there's a new election now, I'm going to be back in Remain. I'm going to be doing everything I can to stop Brexit. So with that one statement, the Lib Dem MP Stephen Lloyd announced his decision to U-turn on his commitment of honouring Eastbourne's wishes of leaving the EU. So it comes as no surprise that some voters are most unhappy with his decision. Eastbourne has historically voted Conservative until very recently. What have you got to, to, to say to people of Eastbourne who might say to you that that's contrary to what you've been saying for the last few years? Well, actually, the response has been very positive because Eastbourne knows that uh, I gave a promise three years ago that though I'm a Remainer, that I would accept the result of the referendum and therefore back the government's withdrawal agreement. Uh, and I kept that promise. Caroline Ansell, the Conservative candidate, seems ready to pick up the votes of those disaffected Liberal Democrats that have refused to back Stephen Lloyd. So to suggest that in this election he can now campaign, I think in his own words, full-throatedly for, for Remain, having committed to deliver Brexit, is absolutely 180 degrees turnabout. But the news that the Brexit party will be fielding Stephen Gander to fight for Eastbourne could split any Leave votes between the Conservatives and the Brexit party and could allow Stephen Lloyd to keep his seat and continue to campaign to scrap Brexit altogether. Labour's Jake Lambert has not been available to comment. For a list of all the candidates standing in Eastbourne, please see our website. I'm Chris Stabbs, Brighton Broadcaster News.